So we also had the chance this week to play uh, Need for Speed Payback, the latest in the Need for Speed series. Uh, the game actually releases next week, but we were able to give it a try due to the 10-hour uh, trial through EA Access. And uh, man, this is uh, this is almost a throwback to the burnout days. Yeah, big time. Wow. Uh, you know, racing game, open world, but you have the... I'm calling it sort of the spirit of burnout in there with oh, the sure. way that you can ram into uh, your opponent's cars and take them out through through takedowns. And it does that that slow-mo camera pan when you take out another car and that kind of thing. So it's kind of cool. Haven't gotten too far with it uh, yet, but, but what I've played so far, I've really enjoyed. I mean, you've got, you know, fancy cars and speed and you've got this, sort of this open world idea. Uh, yeah. As well, and different missions you can take, and uh, yeah, I've been been enjoying it so far. Yeah, one of my one of my first takedowns, um, I, I hit a cop, and I I hit a, I don't know if it was an old lady, a dog, or a speed bump. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. But we kind of both went up into the air, and the camera panned, and all I saw was sparks and everything flying at my face. Like, I mean, it was intense. It was pretty wild. Um, definitely more of your arcade racer style. Yeah. Um, which yeah, it's not, I, they're not big on realism. No, no, this one. no. Which, which I really like um, because it gives you a good contrast to something like Forza, mm -hmm. right? So you could potentially own both of those, and they're still two very different games. Yep. So with Need for Speed, there is definitely a story that they're trying to uh, weave in there uh, where you have a, a crew uh, of, of three of you plus your mechanic. Right, so mm -hmm. and and you hop between the three different people, and so you're driving different cars, different types of cars. There's, uh, and I wish I could remember the different types. So there's racing cars, there's touring cars, there's drifting, there's off roading. Yeah. Uh, so different vehicles for different situations, and and again, you play the, as the different characters depending on that situation. So I thought that was really cool. I'm playing it more than I thought I was going to. Mm. Um, and again, it's. Because of that burnout feel, burnout was is probably my favorite oh, racing game. Yeah, it's ever. my it's my favorite racing game series. Right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, burnout three takedown, I think it was. Yep, <sighs> like it was my my favorite yeah. game, and so. then burnout revenge, which right. was and good burnout as well. Revenge. Yeah, the, those two are, are probably the, the my first favorite. one with the crash uh, yep. feature, which I loved. the crash junction stuff. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it definitely feels like an updated version of, of, of a burnout game. Um, so you, you can't go wrong there. And like you said, all the, the nice exotic cars you could think of. Very shiny game. Very shiny yep. looking game. Very crisp looking. I think with some of the takedowns and the slowdowns and things like that, you get a bit of a blur effect. I, I don't know if that's their graphics technique or, or what that is. Um, I like it. I, I think it's very cool. Cannot wait to see the enhanced version if they're going to get bring that up to 4K uh, and or HDR or anything like that on the uh, the Xbox yep. One X. That'll, that'll look unbelievable. Yeah, it should be cool. 